couple years ago, I saw a video on YouTube of a man making a game. It looked pretty creative, but it quickly slipped out of my mind. Until a couple days ago, it came back into my feed and I saw it again. Then I realized that the game I saw even had a sequel now. And I also realized that I'm getting f old. So I contemplated my life for a few hours all alone in misery, thinking about how I'm wasting my life away. And then I said f it and downloaded both of the games. I will be covering the entire explanation of the game near the end of the video, and trust me, you do not want to miss it. But first, I want to start off by showing off my gameplay. <laughs> the surgeon after my car declines he should really try out feed finder he might find a pair of legs there also seems like you could use a hand all jokes aside that looks painful as shit. oh god that is gruesome and badass this guy is crazy flexible with his arm we cannot afford to stop our research did that just sound like duke nukem what a who am i kidding of course you guys don't know who he is you're all like 12 years old i like it kaji <laughs> Why does that look so familiar? I am this close to being cancelled. This man got some crazy grip strength. Kind of makes me wonder how strong he was before the hole. <laughs> oh, that can't be good. For just an arm, this guy is pretty fast. His girlfriend must be really happy. Y'all wonder if all his limbs got torn off? You know what I mean? Yo, what the f*** is that? Did that guy just try to hug me? Get away from me, I do not consent to a hug. Oh, I don't hear him. I think he's gone. Let me just- Oh sh there's two of them now. I'm just gonna take my chances. I cannot believe that worked. <clears throat> I am no doctor, but I am like 98% sure that syringes don't sound like that. Wait, I have an idea. Come here, big boy. That's it. Follow me. It ain't gay if there are no women. Psych. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please help me. You're past any help I could give you. All you can do now is pray. This guy is brutal. Look at this fatty. Bro, you should have gone lighter on the calories while you were still alive. I wonder if Lucy is still here. I could listen to this man talk for hours. Those rats are a little too big for my liking. This guy literally has one arm but is still more reliable than a woman. Hello, fatty. Bye, fatty. Is that fat guy still following me? Oh shit. Go, 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 go. I don't know why I tried doing that. I do not like the sound of that. Sweet, it's a shotgun. But there is no way that this man can handle the recoil of a pump action with one hand. Let me just... Yeah, let's try again. Bro, this corner is tighter than Mia Khalifa can ever be. I am smart enough to know what it means when a game provides you with a lot of bullets. Eh, how bad can it be? Three hours later. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! All right. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! Oh sh! I do not know why I came into this corner. There's no way there's flare guns in this game. Next you're gonna tell me there's a crossbow too. What's this? Move slowly, step carefully. Shut the f*** up, I know what I'm doing. Yo, I saw something move! Man, Prismo really let himself go after Adventure Time ended. Mm -mm. Nah, boy, I only see no touch. Touch is extra. Wait, do they just pull on whatever they can grab? I'm just saying I can't wear pants if I don't have legs. <laughs> I do not like the sound of that. Why he sleeping like that? He trying to get some. I'ma give him some. The f*** you thought I was talking about? Where do I even- If I let you out, those things will get out as well. I don't think it's a very wise risk to take. May the gods have mercy on you, Pravi. No, no, wait, wait. This guy is cold as What the f is that? I am not going in there. Oh sh Hello there. Ah! What was I supposed to do? <laughs> There's no way. Two seconds. Earlier. There's no way there's flare guns in this game. Next, you're gonna tell me there's a crossbow too. Good boy, go to sleep. Um. No, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. This part was so easy. Literally, my first try. Oh my. F not again. Why they look like my uncle's nuts? Okay, so it's a mystery ball. Got it. What the f*** was that? Is 
he dead? I don't think he can die. Fuck it, we ball. You're the one who let the parasites out. I can't believe it. Of course it's the woman. What is she on her period? What's with the blood? You think being dedicated to your work? Why her voice kinda? And valuing science. <laughs> this universe has too many men like you. You... You are just going to leave me here? Isn't that what she would do? Okay, that's valid. Well, the game's over. You know what that means. I want to start off by admiring this badass for never giving up. This man is truly the most hardcore fictional character that I've ever come across. The game is so simple yet so fun. The mechanics aren't too complex. In fact, it's so simple that you can literally play it with one hand, which is kind of ironic or maybe even intentional. Most of you use your right hand while using your mouse and guess which limb synth is using the entire game. I don't know if this was made to be intentional, but I find it to be very deep. So let me live in my world. But just because the game is simple does not mean that it's boring. Quite the opposite actually. It's always kept me thinking quick on my feet. I mean, well, my arm. The subtle audio cues of different monsters also add to my anxiety making me move slowly. The movement of your right arm around your back is tricky, even as the player, because you can't always accurately pull out the weapon or object you want. Rather, you kind of mess up sometimes as you would in real life. It takes some time to get used to like how it would in reality. The accuracy of how immunity and mutation works in reality is also very accurately depicted. Not to mention the music in this game is so intense it brings out the motivation in me that I didn't even know I had. The story here is also kind of new to me. I'm used to being the protagonist that gets what they want, but I was never ready to be the spiteful side character that gave up everything for what believe in. I'll get deeper into the story later in the video. Overall, I'd rate this game an 8.5 out of 10. That being said, let's move on to the next game. I wasn't always like this. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck happened to him? Oh, that figures, it's been three months. He probably used that right arm to dry himself out. I don't really blame him. I like how he refuses to die, I'd give up if I was him to be honest. This man can make bullets out of pens, using only one arm. I would not want to fight him. What is it with games throwing school propaganda at me? We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended war- I know you're a scientist, but there is no way you can upgrade a gun using a pen and a clock. Sweet, I found a smartwatch. Now I can watch on it. What the f*** is that slapping around? Finally, someone else is handed to the job. This game would lose its charm if the shotgun wasn't in it. Wait, how do you reload this thing? This has to be one of the most hardcore games I've ever played. I'll be back. Sir, I am trying to focus. Would you please stop slapping your meat around? How'd they get faster? It's crazy how the music slaps when it's an indie game. I never came across an indie game with a horrible music yet. Synth? Karis. I mean, I guess they have something in common because neither of them can use their legs. The developer just made an invisible enemy and got away with not having to animate anything. Still, it's pretty creative, so I'll give him that. What's this? I like how we have to jack off this thing passionately just to reload it. You just want to shoot whatever moves, right? But you can't. You gotta save bullets. I, however, was not so smart. And now I'm having to pay the price. That being said, I really need to be smart about this. Well, sh Oh, I think I can save some bullets by running away. Go, 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 go! Why are there so many? I'm somehow still alive. I know everyone in this game is handicapped, but if they had legs, their ankles would be broken by now. I do not like the sound of that. Having to deal with this invisible dildo is a real pain in the ass. I made it. This level's almost done. And I have enough bullets to last me a while. Oh, he came out of nowhere. Let me just heal. I hate my f life. That music is usually a good sign, right? Secular cerebrum. Carry us forward.
What in the? Is that Hindi? I do not know what it says though. You're a little light on flesh and bone, though. May not do well as an offering. You're insane. This is the first time I've heard this man sound disturbed and scared. Are you people eating the dead crew members? Huh? Well, I, I mean. I think so. This is ironically one of the darkest games I've played. Non-mutilated zone. Somehow I really doubt that. A note telling me about a new monster and a save machine right next to it is really not a good sign. Oh hi, aren't you a cutie? If not cute doggy, then why cute doggy shape? You don't look so dangerous. What, you can cross the door? Must be some sort of Canadian vampire, I suppose. Okay, hear me out. Come here, boy, come here. You can lick my bony ass all you want. Psych, go to horny jail. Yeah, doesn't feel so good now, does it? I know some of you freaks would love a walking toe crawling towards you, but I do not swing that way. Hello there. Oh no, he's free again. Screw this. I'm out of here. <laughs> Please, no, not like this. Oh no, never mind. He doesn't know I know this hack. Get the <laughs> fuck out of the way. How many more do I? You know what? Wait, actually, you can stay alive. Hey, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> I was expecting a lot of things, but having this thing sound like a trans man was not one of them. Actual sound of me trying to explain to my mom why there's a hole in the Pikachu plushie. I'm on the last floor now, and now I'm being given everything I need. Boss fight's on the way, I can tell. Oh, God. This Diddy party went a little crazier than expected. Loose your... Everybody's all gangsta until their girl sounds like this. Well, I clearly don't have enough, so let me just stock up this time. Did I win? It's a shame, really. What a waste of resources. This man is truly a chad. Well, first things first, you can physically see the difference in the two games. Synth is extremely malnourished in the second one. Some of you might think that his arm would be ripped, but it wouldn't make much sense since your body requires protein to build strength and muscle, which by the looks of it doesn't seem like he had a lot of. And Synth does leave an audio log saying that he is leaving all of his equipment, because his little ship wouldn't be able to carry its weight. So maybe his weight loss was also planned. He is a math genius after all. Most of the details are the same as the first one, but some are a bit new. The game adds an even better soundtrack than the first one. Unlike the first game, this one allows you to actually have a choice into the equipment you would want to carry. Instead of adding a limit to how much of something you can hold, the game adds a weight limit. Carry whatever you want and play the game the way you want to play it. If you're more strategic, you would want to hold off more heals. And if you're a little less like me, then you would want to hold more bullets. You also need to be smart about the way you play, because you will be going through a hard time sorting out your belongings and saving bullets for more crucial areas. There is also a new map feature in this game which is pretty handy, and it makes me think that it would be nice if it was in the first game. Immediately after playing the second game, you realize how the first game was missing out on a lot. The story also comes to a nice ending. It leaves the player guessing and wanting for more. And speaking of story, the story starts in an unknown asteroid in space, where we see the main protagonist, Synth, have three of his limbs ripped off of him. He desperately stops the bleeding by cauterizing the blood. It is then when we find out that he had been infected with the parasite. The parasite takes control over its host after reaching the brain, making the host lose all consciousness. This is when we realize that the parasite is what allowed him to survive this brutal attack. Synth then finds a vaccine for this parasite. This vaccine only prolongs the parasite's control, not eradicate it. As we move forward in the game, we realize that Synth, along with his subordinates, were studying this parasite. They were dealing with a very dangerous and potent ones, so understandably they had a protocol to evacuate once security had been breached. But Synth wanted to carry his research on, so he risked the lives of many others in the name of science. It was found that the parasites were dated to be older than the known universe. The scientists were testing the parasites on live subjects to understand them better, carefully using drones to keep their distances. Synth understood that the parasites were smart, intelligent hive mind creatures, but kept it to himself. His research led to believe that the parasites could be controlled by the host, but it would require an anomaly and an immunity at 
the same time. The anomaly is to be picked by the parasite and the immunity would be provided by the body of the host. It is then stated around the facility that nobody other than the people in it know about it and any security breaches would be treated with death. This is when we understand that Synth is a desensitized man who deals with death often, which is why he isn't at all faced by the deaths of others around him. We then find a transcript between Synth and his receptionist, Luce. This is where we understand that Synth sees himself to be better than others, which is why he has a narcissistic demeanor. Luce brings up the idea to him about giving updates to the research board about the research on the parasite, to which he seems annoyed and irritated. He gets angry with her and asserts his authority as her boss, after which she apologizes. When he finds this transcript, he wonders if Luce is still in this facility and looks for her. As Synth looks around the facility, he encounters monsters of different sizes. He had carried out unethical researches, sacrificing the lives of animals, such as rats and maybe even people to find answers. We then find out about the associate researcher, Pravi. Pravi was responsible for the staff's well-being and for making the vaccine in case of a security breach. As we move on in the game, Synth finds out that Luce had been staying at her desk long after her shift was over. That's odd. What has Lucy been doing here so late? As we move on, we realize what had actually happened. Synth found out that a similar test was taken of this particular parasite and the person that had shown this anomaly and immunity was tested to have found ungodly powers. It made Synth become more and more hungry for power. Another transcript between Synth and Pravi is seen when the outbreak occurs. Pravi was seemingly panicking, but Synth remained calm and quiet. He then finds Pravi and accuses him of the security breach, thinking that Pravi had done it for power. Synth? What in God's name's happened to you? Never mind, there's no time. The, the airlock is broken from this side. If you could just open the- If I let you out, those things will get out as well. I don't think it's a very wise risk to take. No, no, please! Tell me what you know about the outbreak, Pravi. Well, I- I saw one of the airtight containers. We used to transport the specimens by the decontamination chamber. Uh, someone intentionally released the parasites through the oxygen system. So it was premeditated. It's rather fortunate that we had your vaccines then, hmm? What are you implying? Only three people in this facility had access to my research. And if it wasn't Lucy, and it wasn't you... You think I let them out? You were the one considering a mass infection! You got what you wanted, didn't you? May the gods have mercy on you, Pravi. But soon we realized that Synth was wrong. It was actually Luz that happened to do so because she had visions and was chosen by the parasite. Lucy! You... you should be dead. I'm more alive than I've ever been. You're the one who let the parasites out. I can't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. For as smart as you think you are, you've been putting this together a little slow for my taste. I let the parasites out because they asked me to. They wanted to make me their god, not you. All I had to do was let them flourish. How could they pick you out of everyone? You're half-witted, vapid, ignorant. You're the ignorant one, Sint. You think being dedicated to your work Worshipping knowledge and valuing science over others' lives and happiness makes you above everyone else. You're not above me. You're not above Pravi. You're not even above the lab rats. You're immoral, unethical. You have no compass, no virtues, and you haven't even got the self-awareness to care without feeling. You're nothing. That's why they picked me. This universe has too many men like you. After this, she leaves him to die of the parasite. Three months had passed and Synth had lost all hope in life. He thought that he would die in this asteroid, but he made the plan to go into an arc ship. He wanted to try and still survive for his life. After reaching the arc ship, he sees a bloodbath. Since he is used to all this, he doesn't seem to react much and moves along forward looking for a lab to restore his limbs from other dead members. He finds a letter left by Kojo for someone named Farash, after which he understands that the cause for the brutality around the ship was because there was a breakout of mutations. After a while, Synth finds an audio log from a chief security Officer. This is Officer Kapler aboard the Honor of Hesiod with a report on a distress signal at 0400 hours. A young woman named uh, Luce pleading for shelter from someone pursuing her. She's in an escape pod from a nearby asteroid. After conversing with the captain, we've decided she does not pose a threat to the ship and we will allow her to board. In another log, he finds out that the parasite had been taking control over her instead of forming a mutual connection. <laughs> I made it. I just need 
As we move on, we find another audio log from a doctor named Karis who was on board the ship. He was trying to stop the spread of infection, but that's when we realized that Synth and Karis were connected. Karis, I knew him. We used to work together on the asteroid base. We were close for a long time. Before he left. They were close and used to work together, but Karis had abandoned him and left. After going through the game for a while, we eventually meet him. Sint? They seemed to be happy to see each other, but there was an air of awkwardness in the room, showing that something had happened between them. Unlike everyone else, he cared about Karis. And unlike how you would think, it was Karis who left Synth. Probably because their research was getting a little too overwhelming for him. He asks him to find him three biosamples to carry out his research on making an antidote for the parasite. As we move on through the game, Synth finds a group of people carrying out a sacrifice, and for the first time, he seems disturbed. He also meets the engineer of the ship. Trine, who had left notes and audio logs earlier. Oh, a dawned one keeps us safe, as long as we keep sacrificing people. What happens when you run out of people? <laughs> You're a funny man, sir. I hope they let us keep you for a while. <laughs> He comes back to Karis to give all the biosamples, after which Karis transforms into a mutant. Synth shows the only few emotions he had ever shown and swears to bring him back. Karis, wait! Karis! No! 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 After reaching the final floor, Synth finally finds Luz, who had mutated entirely. She had lost her mind, but briefly comes back to her real senses to tell Synth to put her out of her misery. I wish you would have killed me when you had the chance. So he does, and afterwards understands how big of a waste this whole thing was. What a waste of resources. And that he would fix everything. I'll fix this. No matter what it takes. Since we're near the end of the video, I want to end up with a few theories that I have for both of the games in the lore. To start off, I think that Synth had already compromised himself to the Parasite beforehand and was trying to control it. The reason why Synth was not worried and seemed calm was because he thought that he was worthy and was actually looking forward to controlling the infected. But after Pravi ran off and Synth remained, he was rejected by the mutants, having his limbs torn off. The mutants you see all over the asteroid are all people and test subjects. The little rats that you see are mice that have been tested upon. The regular mutants, the taller ones, the hairy ones are all people that have mutated differently because the parasite is smart enough to know which would be compatible for their body. Synth is actually immune to the parasite, which is why he doesn't instantly just turn into a mutation. And even though he actually is worthy of the parasite, the hive mind wouldn't be able to control him, so they chose not to take him, but take Lucy instead. In the second game, his back seems to have been damaged. Some might speculate that it's because of the parasite or surgery, but it's just a health bar. Karis and Synth are best friends, probably because they share the same brilliance and love for science. In the sacrifice room, there is an engineer named Trine who goes quiet after Synth asks her a question. What happens when you run out of people? <laughs> You're a funny man, sir. I hope they let us keep you for a while. <laughs> Showing that she understands what he's saying but chooses to act along in order to remain alive. Acknowledging that Synth is also a brilliant mind and hopes that he stays alive. The words in Hindi that are written on the sacrifice mean death and sacrifice. When Synth says that he'll be fixing everything, he means the antidote for the parasite and revert Karis and bring his limbs back in the lab, which is likely what happens after the game ends. Honestly, this video took me a very long time to make, so subscribe or you will get infected. <laughs>